Hey guys, Eileen Vick here for Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. It is Friday, March 29th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I am live. It is week 13 of 2024, and in my neck of the woods, it is currently 58 degrees with a high of 68 and a low of 36. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my broadcast. I'm here for the next three hours for coloring, companionship, chat, friendship, giggles, and laughs. But more importantly, well, as importantly, <laughs> the what, the how, and the why of adult coloring. Welcome to my YouTube peeps who come in and chat with me. That's always fun. Although I know the majority of you watch this broadcast after the fact. Welcome to my YouTube peeps who <clears throat> do watch this broadcast after the fact. And welcome to my Facebook peeps who watch this broadcast after the fact in my group Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. All right. Hey, Julie. So, for anybody new, the format of this is that I have a, the first piece I do is a duet piece, meaning <clears throat> I give this one to you for free out of one of my books. Hold on, I got to grab some water. Working title on this one is Beauties in uh, Moonlight Jubilee. And this one, like I said, I gave away for free in my group. If you're interested in coloring this with me, go into the, my Facebook group and search under the term Breaking News. The second piece I'm working on, this is from City and Girl coloring book and this is from it just says Korean artist on the front I think this one is turning out really really pretty all right so let me set this one aside And let me get my paper towel. I hope everybody's doing all right tonight. Okay, paper towel, paper towel, where are you? All right. We'll get there. So guys, how's your Friday going today? Win, lose, or draw? Julie, hello. Christine, hello. Now, the paper towel is to put underneath here. The three amigos. Uno, dos, tres. Linda, Michelle, Wally, hello.
Okay, so I'm going to continue here at the moment on the hair for a few minutes. Let me go ahead and swatch this color. It's a really nice, it's a fleshy beige. Check it out. If you happen to have the color. Oh, I lied. This is the Brut Funner. It's called uh, Honey Peach. All right. So I'm going to take this Honey Peach and I'm going to... Oh, Linda, that's perfect. Grab them while you can. Okay. So we have a thicker area right here yet of the hair and I'm going to use this lighter color on this outside. Now the reason that I'm adding this, hello Maggie, I'm sorry Sarah I don't know what you're talking about. You're awarded Denny's. Now, there's going to be an area left between these two here. And we're going to add this. Happy Friday, happy Friday, happy Friday, happy Friday to one and all, says Maggie. And notice now with this next layer of light color, Okay, this is an award that Sarah got at Denny's. A little hard to see. And it says, Sarah, thank you for being such an important, an important part of the team for the past, is that 15 years? 
We appreciate all you do for the guests. Is that 15 years or one and a half years? And it's from Glenn and Tina. So there's the award. And that's for Sarah. Sarah, is it for 15 years or one and a half? It looks like 15. Okay. Let me get back to the subject at hand here. So notice now that I'm putting this lighter, this light color basically one row before the very light tendrils and those are the ones that are being reflected in the moon. See that? Yeah, 15 years. That's quite a long time to be with a company. Wow. Did they give you a bonus? And notice now how I'm back blending that lighter color, that lightest color, into my previous color on my hair. All right, so let me pull out and you can get a really good view of what's going on with this now. Any questions? So Sarah, are you good good friends with the franchise owners? All right, check it out. Now, let's come back and get some eyeshadow on here.
and I'm going to start out with a darker brown. And then we'll come in with a lighter brown. Yeah, you're good friends with the people that you work with. Good. Proud of you. And then I'm going to come in with my skin color and we'll go over the top of the eye with it. And also I'm going to go over the eye sha the eye shadow or eye color, eye shadow color and blend that. Now, be sure to get your brown here on your other eye. It's just a little bit here. I'll tell you what, in this day and age, it's very hard to say that somebody's been with, with a business that long. So tell me, has anybody else that's listening been with a company that long? Okay, now I'm going to come in with my medium skin tone color. We're going to get that nose shaded up. And I'm going to come in with a very dark brown. We'll get that nostril. We'll just catch that with a little bit of a line. Christine, you were a manager at Starbucks for 13 years. Oh, that's phenomenal. And then I'm going to come in with a very light pink. I'm going to put a base color of pink on here. Linda, you went, you were with um, Liberty Mutual for 28 years. Oh, wow. And Maggie was with a company for 23 years before they decided you should retire. Like I said, you don't see that in businesses anymore, do you? 
So congratulations to Sarah and Christine and Linda and Maggie. That's phenomenal. Okay, now. I'm going to come in with a little bit of brown. And we're going to use that just to highlight the lip a little bit. So check out that combo with the pink and the brown. We want to keep this very subtle. And then I'm going to use a blender pencil and just very, very lightly and briefly smooth that out and blend it in. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, Julie, thank you. And then I'm going to take a pink. Now, remember, this lady is basically shaded in moonlight. So, if you put on well, when you put on your pink, you want to do it as a barely there. We're just going to very, very lightly tint that. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. All right. And then, while I'm thinking of it, because I missed this last time, and I did mention it, so I'll do it not, do it now. I'm retired. Okay, so check out the light pink. And I'm sorry I misspoke, that's, that's a light beige for the skin color. And then we'll come in And we'll put in a little bit of our darker color 
to hint at the fact that we have the inside of the ear. Okay. And I'll tell you what, that sure makes a big difference on this when you get that ear colored in. Look at that. <clears throat> All right. Now, let me grab something here. Okay. Now, I've got these little doohickeys here. I'm going to call my metal art doohickeys. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this area here for the earring. And I'm going to put on a little doohickey here that's a piece of the gold that's got the gold with the blue in it. And that's going to pick up the blue of the dress. I'll pull out in a little bit. And then I've got a little piece of nail art here. It's a triangle. Now, I want you to notice, this is important. I want you to notice that I'm not just dangling it straight down like that. Her head is bent forward. So I'm gonna tilt that little piece of nail art as well. And that's going to give us a little swing to it.
Let me put my nail art stuff away. Isn't that cool? So let me pull out just a little bit so you can see the full effect. Hey, Mamie. I was wondering where you were. Mamie, so glad to see you. Mamie. <laughs> All right, check it out. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? And again, I made, I, when I put this triangle on, I angled it to make it look like it's swinging out there. Okay. Now. I'm going to work on this little frilly stuff here on the dress. I'm going to come in with my pencil here that is my main hold on I gotta empty my sharpener Thump. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to come in with my color that is that is my maroon color on the dress and I'm going to come into that very lightly and I'm using it on the darker area here I've got a little piece of hair here that I missed Mamie, you're watching church service online. Okay. Now, notice, again, that I'm just doing this on the darker areas. You'll see my method of my madness in a moment. Don't get too carried away. And then I'm going to take my...
slightly darker flesh color. Hold on, guys. I got to answer something. Now, notice that I'm using... And we'll be using two shades of my flesh color, a light and slightly darker. And the reason that I'm doing that is because this little frilly stuff here is really partially see-through. So we have a lighter flesh and a darker flesh. Now, I'm also going to use this color to extend over to the left, even though it's in front of the tree, because it is still part of the outfit. Any questions? And see how that works into the skin. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to use my same color, my flesh. And we'll color that strap. Okay, then I'm going to add a little extra bonus here. I've got these little teeny tiny, again, nail art pieces. And these are little, um, very small silver. As in, hi-ho, silver, for anybody that remembers that. Clayton Moore. And I'm going to take these little teeny tiny pieces...
and I'm going to scatter them on her blouse. Nothing fancy. Geronimo, that's right. And I want you to notice when I put them on, I'm not putting them on in a straight line. I'm moving them around. And then I'm going to put a couple of these on the sleeve. Now, again, it's critical that you don't line these up. They're meant to be like little sparkles. Isn't that beautiful? And again, you want them to look random. All right, now that glue is going to be a little bit shiny because it's wet. But as soon as that dries, you'll be able to see the effect better. Okay, let me pull out. What do you think, guys? Do you like it or not your cup of tea?
Okay. Now, one more little thing that I need to do on the face is I need to go ahead and do her eyebrow. Mamie, what do you think? Do you like it? Sarah, you love it. Julie likes it. Don't get too dark with the eyebrow. And I'm using two shades. I'm using a darker brown and then a gold. You guys just never know what I'm going to come up with, do you? <laughs> okay, I'm done with her for now. Let me pull out. You can take a good look at how she's looking. Now I'm going to start working on the background here. And I'm going to grab, <coughs> excuse me, my chalks and eyeshadow. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Woo, excuse, excuse. This is my favorite castell. If you don't have chalks, you can use eyeshadow. And if you don't have eyeshadow, then you can use pencil. Oh, Michelle, thank you so much. Michelle, you're a sweetheart. Excuse me. And forgive me for using tissue. Yes, she does have very good manners. Well, Michelle's my friend, too. Michelle, are you my friend? All right, I'm going to use a blending stump. I've got to clean it off first, so I've got to use my little sandpaper paddle.
and I'm going to take my sand and I'm going to take my blender stump and my chalk and I'm going to rub that on the chalk and pick up that color. Now, what that does is that gives you a pencil-like control over the areas that you want to put your chalk on. <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm going to sneeze again. Hold on. Three sneezes, I'm healthy. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I don't know, all of a sudden I just got a sneezing fit. Okay, so now I'm using my blending stump like a pencil. Check it out. <clears throat> and then I'm going to come in with a medium green. I think somebody came into the room and I'm sneezing from their perfume. I'm going to come in with a medium green. And put that on. And notice the control that I have because I'm using the blending stump. Mamie, what do you think? Now, back to my light green. How many of you have not seen this method before?
All right. I'm going to use my brush to brush away any excess. Okay, and then I'm going to come in with a, <coughs> a dark green. Oh gosh, I'm going to sneeze again. Hold on. Oh, maybe not. <coughs> Now, Mamie, I don't want you to get discouraged if you don't have these colors. Now, when you go to change colors, just rub the tip of your blending stump under your paper towel. I don't know, Mamie. I've used this stuff before and not sneezed like this. Who knows? Okay, now check out the dark that I'm using on the left-hand side. Now, where this is going to become beneficial... is that it allows me to get around my little hair pieces without getting on them. Isn't that pretty? Now, there are two sides to my stump, or two ends, so I can go ahead and do my light colors with the one And, and my darker colors with the other. So if you run into little spots that need to be done up, you can go ahead and use the other end of your blending stump. Oh, is that beautiful? Okay, let me pull out. Now, I'm going to clean off my blending stump with my green. Or, the other thing you can do, which is just as handy, is grab another blending stump, which is what I'm going to do. Just make sure it's clean. And I'm going to use a dark brown on this tree. Now, you want to make sure that your brown 
is darker than your hair. We don't want any confusing the two. And I want you to notice at the bottom that I'm going to peter this out on the left-hand side of this tree. So I'm going to leave the part right near her arm lighter. Now I still want that tree to be a little darker. Am I close enough for you guys to see all this? I'm going to use a very dark gray. And I'm going to squish it on there. Notice that I'm not covering the entire piece. Let me grab a pencil or a, yeah, my pencil eraser and just erase that. It's no biggie on the edge because of course when you take your picture, you just frame your picture. And that edge won't show. All right. Then I'm going to take a little bit of blue and I'm going to put that blue on those two light lines And this is where having a blending stump with a little that little tip is going to be really beneficial. Because it lets us get into those little narrow spaces. Now. By the way, who's coloring this with me tonight? Here's a lighter blue. And then a darker blue. And then we'll bring that light blue all the way down by her hand.
Julie, you're coloring with me tonight? Let me pull out. Check it out. Now, I accidentally moved one of my little crystals here. I need to re-glue that. Made a boo-boo. Okay. Now you can start you can start to see how these colors are working with each other. Mamie, do you have eyeshadow? Now I want you to notice that I didn't color these leaves over here green. I left them to be the clear white because that's where our moon is shining with our young lady here. Okay, now we have a little bit uh, more green. Maggie, you're coloring with me tonight? Cool. Light green. And then I'm going to come in with a darker green. And again, notice by having the point of my blending stump, I'm able to make this look detailed. And then I'm going to take a little bit of brown. Now, if something doesn't make sense to you guys, ask. I'm going to take a little bit of brown.
and dab that into the green. Good grief. I think this is the worst sneezing jag I've had since I've started broadcasting. Ever. All right, Michelle, don't forget to say God bless you to me. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to... Oh, Kitty, you're stopping by, but she'll be back to watch soon because I'm in church right now. Okay. I'm going to put a base color of this gold. on my little wheat things here. And then I'll come in with a slightly darker gold. And I want you to notice that I'm mixing the two colors of a lighter gold and a darker gold. Bye-bye, kitty. See you in a little bit. Now, I'm going to be coming back with this and detailing it with pencil. But because I want this to look soft, I decided to use my blender pencils and my chalks. Okay. Excuse me for using another tissue here.
Now remember, with chalks, what we do is we put in what? The broad color and then we detail with pencil. Now, this whole piece, and you're going to see why I had you put in the blue on the dress. This whole piece is in moonlight, basically. <clears throat> and when you have moonlight or snow, you have blue, right? So I'm going to start with a light blue. Again, I'm using my blending stump. Now, if your blending stump starts to feel slick against the paper, that's where you need to take your sandpaper and clean it off. That buildup of chalk on your blending stump is going to take away your grippiness. Oh, Michelle doesn't want me to sneeze too much? Okay. All right, Michelle, I will work on not doing that too much. Thank you, Michelle, for taking care of me. Okay, so this is my lightest blue. Then I'm going to come in with a medium blue. And I want you to notice that I'm blending in little circles. Why? Because we need to push that eyeshadow into the paper. Alleluia, amen, amen. All right, let me brush this off. Oh man, this is really starting to look cool. And then I'm going to come in with a very dark blue. and get the left part of this tree. Oh, Michelle, no, I, 
I don't think I'm getting sick. I haven't really been around anybody. But just in case, I'll go ahead and take a little bit of aspirin when I'm done broadcasting tonight. Michelle, thank you for caring. I wish I could give you a hug. Now, if you don't have eyeshadow and if you don't have chalks, you can do the same thing with your pencils. It's just going to take you a little bit longer. Isn't this beautiful? Now, with the point here of my blending stump, I'm going to run that blue down the stump. and let me pull out. Christine, I made it blue because of the moon. This whole thing here on the right is basically going to be done in shades of blue. Trust me, it works. This is why I don't want you guys, when I'm doing duets, I prefer that you not jump ahead. I'm just putting a medium blue here on some of these clouds. Check it out. And then a very light blue. And then back to my medium.
And I'm going to use a little bit of our dark blue. On some of our puffy clouds. Christine, the tree is in, sh in shadow. On the side that's facing us because of the moon. And the moon is casting an evening bluish glow over the whole scene here. All right. Time to switch projects. Boo. <laughs> Having too much fun. Let me pull out. Isn't that drop dead gorgeous? All right, let me put my chalks away here. Amen, amen. All right, let me brush this off. And we are good to go. Check out how her hair now is really starting to stand out. Check out how her dress is picking up the blues in the background. And check out how we've got just a little bit of these rhinestones on the edge of her dress. Okay, next project. Oh, I'm just going to have a quiet Easter, Sarah. Okay, so last night I was working my light, medium, and dark brown, which actually is a gold, medium, and a dark.
All right. <coughs> Let me go ahead and swatch my colors. For you. We've got my two browns and then the gold. Okay, Linda. So last night I went through and I put down the browns, the darker brown. Hello, Emily. And now I'm going to come in with my mediums. Oh, Emily, I appreciate that. And of course, I will be broadcasting on Easter in the evening. Here's my goal. And then back with my medium. Excuse me. Tissue time again. Uh, both my sisters have passed away. Emily, how are you doing? Here's my darker brown. And really, I meant to say my medium brown and then my gold. And then back with my medium brown. Nope, no brothers.
And here's my gold. And then back with my medium brown on our gold. Okay, Linda, thank you. Medium brown. Our gold, medium brown on top of that. One niece, three nephews. Okay, back with our gold. And then our lightly, our medium brown on top of the gold. Medium brown. Our gold. Medium brown on top of the gold. All right, let me pull out. Hey, Kathy. Now, obviously, I will be detailing this, right? We just have to get our base colors in. Isn't that beautiful now that that's filling in around the bow?
Here's our brown, brownish red. And then our highlight of our gold. And notice how I'm back blending that over my brown. And then back with my medium brown. I'm just knocking that gold down just a little bit. It's making a brand new color. All right. And again, just to re remind you, I will be here on Easter broadcasting. I do broadcast during holidays. And let me pull out. Maybe I'll go ahead and do a, an Easter picture <coughs> on Easter. We'll see. Okay, medium brown. So Emily, how come you're excited for the my broadcast on Easter? Just curious. And by the way, guys, you know that I gave away Easter images, right? One of Christ and the lion, and one of a little girl with an Easter bunny. Did you guys see that?
Oh, Julie, you're welcome. Kathy, you got them? Okay. Oh, Kathy, of course, so you can't print them. Notice how I'm paralleling the dark brown? And then I'll come in with my medium brown just to tone down the gold. Hey guys, please like my broadcast. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and while we're thinking of it. Does anyone know of a Facebook group or a channel you can watch for realism portrait? I'm looking for someone to color one of my own personal portraits. but then I can also watch and follow along to color with it. Uh, sounds to me like you'd have to hire somebody to do that. Let's work this area on the left now. I'm right by the footies of that. Oh, it's one of your recently deceased niece. Oh. I'm sorry, Christine. Miss Julie, good night. Thank you for stopping by. Julie, don't forget to like my broadcast. Oh, 
okay. Yeah, I would definitely make copies of the pages so that you can practice with it. All right, so I'm going to dampen my gold right here with my medium brown. And check out my areas here. All right, let's get this area right by the footies. And then I've got these last little areas here. And then our last shading here of our, what, medium brown. Maggie, you still hanging in there? Okay, let's take a look at this. Now I'm going to come in with my Payne's Gray. And I'm going to start shading these areas.
Okay. Now let's start detailing this little puppy. So what we're going to do is we're going to start shading in between our curls. in order to start defining and giving dimension to this. you to notice oh you did the little girl in the Easter you just sent it all right let me grab it here How cute. There you go. Isn't that adorable? And you know that I love the turquoise and the blue on her dress, right? What do you think, guys? Adorable. <laughs> Now notice how I'm shading to the point that it's bringing out these curls. And of course that's that's the whole point. And notice the sweep of the hair.
and how the curls are starting to be defined. But remember, it's not just a matter of drawing dark lines over the streaks. It's all about what? Blending. And notice how I'm getting in between these curls right here. Which is highlighting them. I'm sorry, Sarah, I don't understand your question. Are, are who kids? All right, check out the sweep of the hair here. And again, notice how we're blending this in. To create our dimension. All right. Now, I've got two curls right here. This one and this one. And notice how I'm shading in the area between and all of a sudden this part right here becomes lighter and comes forward. All right, let me pull out so that you can see. Look at the difference between this side and this side here.
Okay, here's our area next to our curls here. And check out the subtle shading of this light gray that I'm doing over my some of my gold and my brown. Not as dark as the area where I'm sh uh, shading and shadowing. Okay. Now check out the shading right here, which brings out this curl and this curl. Oh, you had fun coloring it? Oh, that's great. And I'm just blending with my medium brown just to smooth this out. And then I'm going to shade and shadow this curl up here. Oh yeah, it is cute that she's the same height as the bunny. Exactly. I wonder where Brittany is. We haven't seen her lately.
Isn't that beautiful? Let me pull out. Okay, and again, notice how this is progressing over where we're getting our shading and our shadowing. Guys, don't be afraid of your piece. Let me zoom in. Again, I've got a shaded area right in here. And that's going to bring out this string of hair. I really want to make sure that you guys are understanding what happens when you put that darker color into your hair crevices. And I also want you to notice where the hair is coming together. I'm going ahead and creating a black kind of circle area. Let me pull out.
Any questions? So you can see how the locks of hair are here. Are layering on top of each other okay one more addition we've got a lot of dimension going on here Let me get this little top knot. Remember, you've got to pick out in your own mind what hair is laying on top of what. And once you do that, that's when you start your what? Shading and shadowing. Christine, good night. Okay. Anybody guess what the last touch is on this hair? I've done it before.
And let me grab some more water while you guys are thinking about it. And the answer is black, PC935, I still haven't uh, checked out the color black to see how I like it, but I really like the uh, Prismacolor. So what I'm going to do now is come in with some touches of black. in my areas where I put the gray. Now again, no streaking. Notice how I'm hanging near the edges. And then blending that down into my gray, my Payne's gray. Check it out. Now, if you're serious about color, coloring, this is something that shouldn't throw you at all. It is a beautiful enhancement. Oh, let me find something here. It is a beautiful enhancement to the hair. Okay, Kathy, thank you. What do you guys think of this? And do you understand why it's so important?
and can you see the difference? Now, for example, notice in this oval right here, I'm just doing the ends and a little bit on the sides to create that depth. And look how beautifully this black now is enhancing our depth dimension detail. And of course, it's absolutely critical that you blend. Okay, Kathy, thank you. Isn't that beautiful? Let me pull out. See the difference? And I'm willing to bet that you guys are surprised now to see this final color based on what I started out with. It's all about layers.
Mimi, did you have any problems doing the um, greenery and the trees on the previous image? I don't think you ha you don't have chalks or eyeshadow, do you? Okay. Check it out. Oh, you did order some eyeshadow for coloring. Okay. What did you end up getting? Okay. Use my arm. Now let's go ahead and do the eyes. I'm going to go with browns on the eyes. Don't forget that you want a light, medium, and dark brown. Let me pull my light brown. Let me sharpen. And let's start working that brown into this. There's my dark. Here's our medium.
Here's my light. Isn't that pretty? And I'm going to take a little bit of gold and we're going to enhance that eye at the bottom. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to take my slightly, my medium skin color. And blend that directly over the eye. And then I'm going to take my black Prismacolor. And enhance our eyelashes because remember as we've been coloring our colors have been getting smeared on top of our original ink colors of the page And then I'm going to take that black, we're going to go ahead and do that pupil. Ooh, look at that, I kept both white areas. And what color do I color the uh, eyeballs, guys? Anybody remember? We use our Ivory 103. Thank you, Kathy. And then I'm going to use a little bit of black. At the top of that eye. And that's going to give us our dimension. Isn't that cool? I'm going to come in with a lighter gold here. I want some more gold on there. Oh yeah, there we go. Isn't that pretty? Okay, second eye. Darkest brown. And our medium brown.
a light brown. Why do I use the Faber-Castell 103 on the eyes? Somebody tell me. A little bit of my yellow. My light, it's a, actually a light gold. A little bit of my black on top. And then our eyelashes. Yeah, look at the difference, guys, between the two eyes. One has the Faber-Castell 103, the left. The right does not. And when you get in your face colors, around your eyes, it looks really funny if you just have white there. Check it out. And then I'm going to come in with my skin color in between the lashes. Because I just want to darken that a little bit. As well as over the top of the eye. Okay, I'm going to work on these lips. I'm just reestablishing my color where I wiped it a little bit. I'm going to start out with a soft pink. And then I'm going to come in with a soft gray for the inside of the mouth. Because I just want to close that off a little bit.
And then I'm going <coughs> to come in with a brighter pink. To highlight our lips. And then we'll come back with my softer pink and blend that together. Let me pull out. And then I'm going to take my lighter pink and I'm going to add a little bit of blush to the cheek. Isn't that beautiful? Now I want you to notice the blush in the cheek shows up because we've got the pink in the lips. That's why I did the lips first. And that way I can establish the blush afterwards. That's important. That's why I also did the uh, eyes first. Got a little bit of pink that's being obstinate here. I'm just literally scraping it away with my nail. <laughs> and then I'll put that back in and finger blend. And then I'm going to add my pink on the other side. I'm going to back blend over my dark of my skin color 
to smooth that out. Sometimes you'll get wax crumblies that will show up while you're shading in or adding. Don't let that throw you. Just blend them away. Okay, now, where's the last place that I always recommend that you put a little bit of blush? Anybody remember? Kathy, you forgot. Hold on, got to get some water. Okay. When you have a natural flush color like this, Almost done. You want to put a little bit of pink on the neck. That's where a woman will flush. Right in the small of her neck and up a little bit. Everybody remember now. Okay, now, I'm going to have a new piece tomorrow night. I just have to finish one more thing on this one. But we're out of time. Guys, I'm 98% done with this. What do you think? I have one last thing to do on the lace collar. I may do it off ca camera. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Faber-Castell 103 Ivory on the collar. Why? Because this white right now is just glaring. It, it, it looks out of place. So 
so I'm just going to calm it down with a little bit of ivory. Like I said, I may go ahead and do that off camera. And that way you'll just see the finished piece. Okay, guys, calling it an evening. This is Eileen Vick for Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. Guys, joyous, joyous coloring. This is from City and Girl Coloring Book. I know you guys were probably wondering why I was going with the reddish brown when I used the mauve on the hair, but you can, or on the bow, but you can see that now. I think we got a good do on it. Guys, please click that like button. Then, Beauties in Moonlight, Jubilee, upcoming release. I think she turned out beautifully. I put some crisp, some little rhinestones on here. One of them moved on me again. I'll put it back after I'm off camera. Click that like button, guys. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something, guys. Joyous, joyous coloring. I'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, same place. Love on each other. That's what our group is known for. And we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into tomorrow night. All right. Take care. Till then. Bye.